Hey guys, Mike here with TV Parts Today. On the table behind me, I've got a Sony XBR-65X 950H. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a different video. Uh, I'll show you what we're kind of getting into here in just a moment. As always, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 if you need to place any orders, and let's get into it. All right, guys, here we have the back side of this unit opened up already. Uh, ideally, we always like to show you how to take the back off of the television set that we're working on. Uh, this one in particular is from August of 2020. So for the time of year right now, it's relatively new, still in warranty most likely. One thing that we noticed trying to get the back removed off of this is it is not repair friendly. There aren't any screws first off to kind of preface that. There are maybe three or four screws, if I'm remembering correctly, that just go along the bottom of the bezel here you need to remove. Uh, and then I believe just one over here where the uh, power cord plugs into. Um, once you have those screws removed, Getting it off of here is a chore. We noticed even with using a spudger and using proper technique, trying to get the back off of this, it is not user friendly. Once you get this back actually lifted up, uh, even about two inches up here at the top, I don't know if you can notice this here, but this goes directly into the IR sensor and this just gets ripped out. Uh, there's no way around that. Uh, I believe that was more than likely intentional with this unit. So if this is a television that you have at home, uh, if you're watching this in the future and you are looking to swap out a board in here, I would honestly uh, suggest to you to just not even get this set. Uh, there's a lot of anti-consumer and anti-right to repair things that are going into television sets these days and this one is no exception. So we tried to do a dry run on this, uh, like we always do, to kind of show you guys uh, so that way we can have a better idea of how to get everything disconnected. This one was, uh, was a mess to say the least. That in mind, we're still gonna show you how to take these boards out of here. Let's get started with it. All right, and starting off here with the main board, you'll notice that we've got some clips going around here on the outside we need to get removed. Um, they do look a little bit different than usual, but don't let it fool you. Uh, it looks kind of like if you were to glance at it, it looks like a lot of these plugs you wanna pinch on the side and pull out, that is not the case. There's a lever right here in the middle, just like usual. Just press down to release that latch and this pulls directly out. Again, do not pinch on the sides on these. That is a no-no. Uh, you're gonna end up breaking the clip or the actual connector piece itself. Uh, this guy here, <clears throat> excuse me, is gonna be the same way. Pinch down in the middle there to release that latch and it pulls straight out. This guy the exact same way. Press down in the middle. There's not a whole lot of wiggle room there because that, uh, that lever, latch rather, is right in the center and I can barely fit my finger on top of that one. You just press down right there to release it and it pulls right out. And then we've got our ribbon cables up the side here. These we've shown before, there is a metal uh, plate here you just wanna press down on to release and you pull that ribbon directly out of there. This is actually what is on the other end of this, uh, plugged into the IR sensor on the back of the television unit. The only thing, like I had mentioned previously, is once you get that back lifted up in any amount of space, this completely just gets ripped out. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But moseying along here to this one, exact same style, we're just gonna press down on the metal part and shimmy that directly out. Uh, these cables here, instead of having the buttons on the top like we normally do, they're on the side actually. So what you wanna do is just press on the sides so release it and slowly shimmy this cable directly on out of there. Same with this guy here. We're just gonna press on the sides and slowly ease that out. This one right here, you can see that metal plate. Just press down on it to release it and shimmy that ribbon cable directly out of there. And at this point, we've just got some screws. Kind of feel around, make sure there's not any adhesive. It feels like there is right here down the center. So as usual with these kind of things, you just wanna shimmy this left to right. Try not to put any uh, hard bends on the board itself. So you don't wanna break anything. There we go. Once that gets released, you can take this flashing off. Use that for a replacement main board if you have decided to repair this on your own. You can see there's some adhesive right here. And there's also adhesive all over the back of this holding that into place. And that will be your main board. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the LED driver here. Uh, this ribbon cable here, just like I showed you before, press down on that metal uh, plate right there to release it. And then you can pull this ribbon cable right out of there. This guy, like I said with the other one, it looks like you wanna pinch it on the sides, you don't wanna do that. 
right here in the center, you can see your lever. Press down and pull that directly out. And at this point, there are no screws holding this into place. You wanna get a small flat head screwdriver. There are two clips here on this side. What you're gonna to wanna to do essentially is get behind and pop that metal away from the clip that it is holding it into place there. You wanna do that on both of these. And you also wanna be careful because this right here is a hole directly back into the panel. And if your screwdriver goes through there, you are essentially completely messing up your television set. But just be patient with it. You can hear it pop. Once I get this released, I'll actually flip the plate over so you can get a better look at it. All right. Once we have that, I'll lift up, pull this out. And if you take a look here, there are two little slots here and here. There's a latch that pops into place directly behind it like so. It just pops through like that. And essentially what we were working on there was just getting this metal tab, both of these, lifted up far enough so that way the tab wouldn't actually be latched into it. So that's what you're working with, holding that into place. And then this guy right here, <clears throat> it's another little lever. You're just gonna press it away from you and that's gonna release this board from the back side of this TV. There are gonna be two of them, one up there and one back here. You do wanna release both of those. And if you can see, this right here actually plugs directly into here. So whenever you're lifting this up, both of these black plugs, or tabs rather, you wanna pull those apart away from the board. And that's gonna be your LED driver. All right, moving on to our T-Con right here. Um, there is a bit more involved with this one. There is, you know, as usual, a metal plate over the top of this. Let's go ahead and get these cables removed as well as this strip of tape. And we'll go ahead and work on this Wi-Fi board as well. Uh, for this guy here, you're just gonna press down in the middle to release that lever and pull it directly out. Pinch it, pull it directly out. These LVDS cables, we're just gonna pinch on the sides and pull it out away from you. Pinch it, kinda shimmy that on out. Same with this one. Pinch it, shimmy it on out. Now at this point, we can go ahead and just disconnect this guy. There is a metal plate holding it into place, or a tab rather. It'll be a little bit easier if you just get like a screwdriver or what have you to pull back on that, because it's not very uh, user friendly with your finger at least there. So you're just gonna press down to release it and then you can pull that directly out of there. At this point, we should be able to just pinch in on the sides of this guy here, and that is now out of the way. And this whole Wi-Fi chip can be removed. Now, look at this strip of tape right here. We're just gonna peel it straight back, be very gentle going across these ribbon cables. There we go. Actually, might be able to just, yeah, just get this folded directly over here. Get this one pushed up a bit. Now we have access to this screw, this screw, and then there are two on the sides here. So let's get those out of the way now. Okay, let's get this speaker wire up and out just a bit there, so we've got more room to work with. Do some cable management, get some of these out of the way here. And just pull that up the rest of the way, set that off to the side. All right, at this point, you've got your plate, but it is hooked in here and here underneath of the frame. So what you're gonna to want to do is kind of lift up a bit and shimmy it forward this way to get those levers unlatched. And now we've got this plate out of the way. We have access to the rest of the T-Con here. You do want to hold this into place while you lift up on these flaps here. And then you can just shimmy those ribbon cables directly out once you've done that. And at this point, there are no more screws holding this guy into place, but there are some black tabs here, here, and here. If you want, just release two of them. And that top part starts to lift up and release this back one. 
You can start lifting up there. There is adhesive underneath of this. So my suggestion is to pick either these two first or this one back here and then just start lifting up very gently. And that shimmies directly out of there. No adhesive on the back here, but there are two pieces that we're holding it into place here. And that is gonna be your T-Con. All right, moving on here to the power supply, probably the easiest uh, portion of this removal uh, tutorial, if you wanna call it that. Uh, we've got two clips here. Both of them press down in the center to release the lever and you can pull it directly out. Again, it looks like, if you, if you just glance at it, it looks like you wanna pinch on the sides there. You don't wanna do that. Just press down in the center, pull that directly out. Same with this one here, press down in the middle and that comes directly out free from the board and then we've just got some screws. And then there's one left right here next to the AC outlet. And that should be it. That's your power supply. So there we have it, uh, another removal tutorial. Uh, I wouldn't really call this one successful per se, um, I will also mention our channel is more dedicated to helping you as the customer figure out how to remove the boards from your television set and then replace it yourself. We're trying to steer you away from paying an arm and a leg for a repair shop to fix your TV for you. Uh, like we've previously stated, our channel is for the do-it-yourselfer. This one is not do-it-yourself friendly. Um, so if you're the kind of person that once you know that your TV is going to be out of warranty and it's something that you're going to want to repair on your own, steer clear from this one. I'm not dogging on the picture quality or the sound quality of the TV itself, but as far as repairability goes, this one's pretty poor. Uh, I would steer away from it unless, like I said, you don't mind paying an arm and a leg for someone else to fix this for you once it goes out of warranty. Um, as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to our channel, your first order will qualify for 20% off. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.